signed. But here's what you need to know about websites that are have been that have been signed by them. So the good parts about these AI website designs is the accessibility. AI makes web design really accessible to anyone, regardless of their coding experience. Uh, we've seen how some of these AI web web uh, builders work. Um, you can create a professional looking website within minutes, really quickly, really easily, even if you've never touched a line of code. AI automates a lot of the tedious tasks like layer generation, color schemes and selection and content creation as well. This frees you up to do, to do more important aspects like branding and content strategy as well. Some AI builders can analyze your content, target audience to suggest personalized design elements and layouts. This can help you create a website that's truly that truly resonates with your visitors. AI algorithms are constantly learning and evolving so they can incorporate the latest design trends into your website. This can help your site look fresh and modern um, and as well as keeping up with the times as well. And a lot of AI website builders offer affordable pricing plans and that makes them a good option for budget conscious businesses and individuals or small businesses who in the beginning may not have a big budget for a website but definitely don't want to miss out on building a website. But here's the not so good. Um, there's While some builders offer extensive customization, most might restrict your control over the design. This can be frustrating if you have a very specific vision, vision in mind. AI-generated designs can sometimes lack the originality and personality of websites created by human designers. This is especially true when using generic templates. AI builders may not be able to handle complex website features or functionality. This can limit your options for things like e-commerce or custom fonts um, or custom forms as well. Uh, AI-generated designs can also lack the originality and personality for websites created by human designers. This is true especially when using generic templates. And it's not always clear how AI algorithms arrive at certain design decisions, and this can make it difficult to understand and refine your website's design process. Overall, AI website builders offer a really convenient and affordable way to create a professional website, even for those who have no design experience. But it's really important to be aware of the limitations and be prepared to invest in some time in customization to make your website stand out. If you're considering using an AI website builder, do some research to find out one that offers the features and flexibility that you need. And remember, even with AI, there's no substitute for a human touch when it comes to creating a website that truly reflects your brand and objectives. So let's take a look at Squarespace and see some of the designs generated by Squarespace and how they work and compare the design as well. And it has its own unique spin on generating website designs. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in Jimdo and we're just going to log in and sign up. But you can sign up for free um, or if you already have an account, you can log in with Jimdo. And we're going to go for the no coding required editor. And this will uh, focus on creating a website by asking you a few simple questions similar to how Squarespace works. And um, so we're just going to go through and uh, answer these questions and we are going to make a business website. And so the first thing that's going to do is going to ask us questions about our business. If we have any online presence, it will look for that as well. And you just want to go through and and you uh, ask very similar questions to Wix. So things like, what are your goals? Um, what are you hoping to achieve? And that's, again, for the same purpose to see what kind of apps to add, what kind of functionality to add as well. And it will also ask you questions about the design and color scheme as well. And it will then just ask to pick a website that you'd like. And in terms of that, it's just kind of getting an idea of what styling you have and what styling and branding that you prefer. You could preview both of these and just go for whichever one that suits you best. And we're just going to create a website for free and create a plan later. So Jimdo is very simple and very streamlined. It focuses on e extreme ease of use and asks very minimal questions analyzes your basic information and quickly generates two potential layouts for you to choose from. This is perfect for those who want a website up and running in the blink of an eye. And it analyzes your existing content like social media profiles, Google My Business listings, and uses it to populate your website with text, images, and even basic SEO settings. This can save you a lot of time and effort while ensuring your website has relevant content from the start. And similar to the other builders we've seen, it ensures that your website adapts perfectly on other devices as well. Um, as not just desktop, um, making it really crucial crucial uh, for today's mobile-centric world. And again, it offers free plans for creating very basic websites. Paid plans will unlock a little bit more features and customization options, but uh, at the end of the day, it means that Jimdo is a budget-friendly choice for beginners or small projects. So while the initial design is AI-generated, you can easily customize Jimdo 
um, websites with drag and drop editors. So if we go onto the website builder, you can see we can sort of like add blocks and add sections as well, making it really easy. So while it's very stream simple and streamlined, I will say compared to the Wix ADI and Squarespace, Jimdo offers less initial design variation and finer grained customization options. You might not achieve a highly bespoke look with it. And the quality of your existing content actually relies a lot more, is, is being relied on a lot more than um, something compared to Wix where they just ask you questions and you fill in content that way. If your content, if your existing content, like your social media and your Google My Business, list, business listings isn't strong um, or doesn't align well with your desired website direction, the AI will generate the best results for you. And excels in things I mentioned pre previously will apply. Um, but here's a closer look at Squarespace and typ typically what they offer. So Squarespace um, have this drag and drop editor that's very visual and very user friendly and intuitive, and it allows you to ca uh, customize templates without needing to write code. Um, so let's talk about uh, some of the how to get started. So getting started with Squarespace is free. Um, you can uh, test out the full version of Squarespace um, for free, but only for 14 days. So it doesn't actually have a free plan. You just have a free trial, really. Um, and the way you start off with, um, first it'll ask you about what your site, what it's about. Um, and uh, you can pick from one of the original, uh, from one of the ideas and examples that they've put in. If not, you can always describe the site here. Um, and you just want to continue and mm -hmm asking the questions that they've asked for. So for example, what are your top goals? Um, in this part, they're really trying to figure out the functionality of your website. Are you trying to offer uh, an e-commerce functionality? So you want to sell things? Are you want to promote an, a vis physical business? Do you want to um, collect leads through a contact form? Things like that. So you just want to go through each of them and just see how that works. Um, and then you want to actually choose a professional design template from uh, Squarespace um, as well. The other thing that you can do is also build your own template. And this is with the AI builder. So the first thing that you need to do is continue uh, with your account. You can either sign up with Google um, or sign up with Apple, Facebook, or you can continue with your email and create your account. And it'll start setting up your uh, account and setting up your AI generator as well. So it's going to ask you what your Squarespace site can be called, and you can always change it later. Um, but you basically just want the name of your website. Next thing that it's going to do is ask you to build your homepage. And this is a really interesting way to build out your website. What it does is it kind of lays out all the sections of your homepage. So you've got an intro section, product section, courses section, footer section. And it's basically just asking you to build out your website section by section. Now, not all sections will be, rele will be relevant. So for example, if you're not planning to add e-commerce onto your site, um, then you won't need the product section. So you can just leave it blank, but you basically just want to go through each of these sections and build out your homepage um, and add as many uh, or as little sections as you need. And you'll see as you select something, this editor here is like a live editor. So you can see it being built as you're doing it. Um, again, saving you a lot of time um, and effort because you're not coding anything. You're literally just selecting parts of your website. So I'm just going to go through and see what um what we can add so we still want to add this about section i'm just going to play around with it and see um what looks good and what um you want to change as well so we're going to add social social section and a forum section as well and just add a little footer and you can see i can go through and add and make any changes as i want now with uh, what we've seen with a lot of ai website builders is that not everything is set in stone. So if you're not happy with the final design in terms of small things like the font or the colors or anything like that, all of that can be changed. It's really just to get you a starting off point and see what's being uh, done that way. Next up is the pages. And it's just going to ask you about what pages you want to add. Um, and you can go through and see. And then it'll ask you for a color scheme. And again, you can always change up the colors that they picked later. Um, it's just to give you a starting off point and just have an initial kind of setup um, that you can edit and makes it a little bit easier so you're not working with like a blank page and you can see as I'm, che as I'm testing out different color palettes I can go through the site and just see how that looks across the site as well and same with the font pairing so these are font pairings that are been curated by uh, Squarespace's designers 
And you basically, just, again, just want to go through and see what font pairings is suits your branding, suits your site. And again, it can be uh, changed later. And when you do, just click finish. So uh, Squarespace off are kind of known for its collection of sleek and modern templates that cater to various industries and styles. They're pre-designed with re responsive layouts and focus on clean minimalism, uh, bold typography and high quality imagery as well. And all Squarespace websites are built with mobile respons responsiveness in mind. Um, so everything looks and functions well on all devices. And that's really crucial in today's mobile dominated world. Um, Squarespace integrates seamlessly with various third party tools and it offers lots of e-commerce features as well. So here is a look at this template generated by uh, um, Squarespace. So again, so Squarespace is known for very modern templates and this is quite a modern kind of design. Um, with, especially with the font making it as well, but it's very minimalistic and very clean just with the um, color schemes being used. And again, it's all been curated by their designers. So um, it makes sense that this is the kind of you know work that we'll see. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty good uh, starting off point, especially because it only took us a few minutes as well. Um, so it's quite uh, handy in that sense. Uh, well, flexible Squarespace templates have inherent design constraints constraints so you might not achieve the same level of bespoke design as fully with a custom website built from scratch or anything or even something like Wix. Wix is a little bit more flexible in terms of adjusting their templates and things like that. Um, overall I think Squarespace is a really great option for creating professional looking websites. Um, the templates generated by AI is really good especially for beginners. They have really beautiful templates that the AI generated, very intuitive editor and this mobile first approach makes it really compelling for individuals and businesses alike, but just to kind of be aware of the limitations afterwards in customizations and and consider your need for a truly unique brand website, or brand identity when you're making your decision. Um, so yeah, so this would be uh, Squarespace's AI, and yeah, it's a good it's a good uh, template to start off with. Um, but I guess afterwards to customize it, it might be a bit more restrictive compared to something else. I call the Wix ADI, so the Artificial Intellig Design Intelligence. Um, this tool takes a really unique approach to generating uh, website designs. Um, so they have these AR powered design decisions. So it uses sophisticated algorithms to analyze trends, user behavior and design principles. And this ensures that your website looks modern, professional and user friendly while remaining unique to your brand. So the way it works is the design assistant will ask you lots of questions about your business, your, back your business history, what you want to offer on your website, a bit about your branding, and it will then generate a website for you. So just to show how that looks. So this is a little bit of what the AI looks like. So the AI will talk to you about different things about your website. You just want to click on start now and it'll ask you question by question. So first of all, ask what do you want to call your site and you'll write your answers in the bottom here. Um, and they make it really easy to kind of help get help answering questions because after every question, if you're not sure about what, what to write as an answer, if you're not sure what the question is actually asking, you can ask to rephrase the question. And this will basically just explain the question in a different way. Um, so for example, the question is, what kind of business uh, is your business? And when you ask to rephrase that, it just asks, could you provide a general description of what your business does? What you can also do is if you're not sure how to answer a question, just click on help me answer and the AI will give you a really, um, We'll give you examples of how to answer that question. So for this question, if we answer with help me answer, it will give you an example of what they're looking for. So for example, you could say that uh, your business is a holistic health and wellness center that offers various social uh, services, things like that. So you just want to go through and answer each question one by one. And if you need help, ask to rephrase the question or help me answer. And if you don't think the question is relevant or if you don't want to answer that question, you can always skip a question. But bear in mind that if you skip too many questions, it's not going to give the AI enough information to create a website that's accurate to how you want it. Um, and as you answer the questions, you'll notice on the right hand side, um, your site profile. So as you um, uh, write answers and as you uh, answer their questions, it'll create a profile for your website. And that's essentially where it notes down what your website should be like and uh, what your website is about and how you should build your website. So it'll ask for things like uh, site type, 
um, any apps that they feel like should be added, what your overall site goals are, target audience, things like that. Um, and you just keep on going until uh, this, the AI itself is happy with the content that you've given and is able to create a site for you. So this is an example of what the Wix AI has come up with after we answered all the questions. Um, with Wix ADI, they prioritize understanding your needs and preferences. It asked really detailed questions about your business, target audience, design style, and it used that information to generate, generate this truly personalized website layout and content suggestions as well. Um, it was really quick and easy to use the website builder. It required minimal technical expertise. I got to choose colors and fonts and I had a basic website in minutes. Um, and despite being AI generated, the Wix ADI uh, is very, very customizable. You can adjust layouts, change elements and add your own content to make the design sort of truly uh, your own as well. I'd say the design is quite modern um, and it is quite fresh, uh, the design. It's not too outdated, um, which makes it really good as well. Um, in terms, compared to Squarespace, I would say they took more time to figure out what it is this site should look like, what I'm looking for in the site and my business type. And I feel like now that's kind of matched the business a little bit better. So um, yeah, some things to consider. Um, Squarespace, the design uh, was a lot more sleek and you could say there's a trade off there, but overall um, it's a great platform. It's a great uh option for individuals and entrepreneurs seeking a quick personalized and user-friendly way to create a professional website its strengths lie in its ease of use strong focus on user experience and cost effectiveness um in terms of some um cons with all ai templates and all ai generators um there is a potential for genericness so while it is personalized some users might find the ADI designs can lean towards template aesthetics especially if you don't provide detailed um, preferences as well. So keep in mind the limitations in control and complexity when deciding if it's the right fit for your project. Um, but overall, I would say the Wix ADI is a really fantastic option and definitely one that's worth exploring. Um, it's free to explore as well. Uh, Wix has a free hosting plan and you are allowed to use the Wix uh, design assistant as well. If you enjoyed the video and if you did, give us a like and I'll see you in the next one.